guys, it's Brie, and I decided to do another vlog post. And when I created this channel, I said first and foremost I wanted to keep it real. So uh, let's do a little bit of a real keeping, shall we? I just want to mention I love watching other beauty gurus on YouTube, but I was watching this one earlier this week, and she went on this whole like self hatred tirade about wearing a T-shirt. Like, really, no lie. She's like, oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe that I just found a t-shirt. Ugh. I can't live it at that. I really can't live it at that. Oh my god. Y'all, I'm from the South. So, y'all should just be happy if I wear shoes. Seriously, not to promote a stereotype, but let's just pump the brakes and be happy that I wear shoes and have all my teeth. Let alone, I'm gonna get dressed and give fashion tips. I love t-shirts. I love t-shirts, so I don't understand all the haterade on t-shirts. Seriously, I understand that you're a guru and you should be fashionable. I will throw on a cute t-shirt and I'll throw on my $3,000 pearls and go on about my business. Seriously, I'll throw on a dollar t-shirt and some nice jewelry and away I go and I couldn't be happier. So there's that rant. Tell me what you guys think. Would you guys rather have a guru that is completely dressed up to the nines for every single video? Or would you rather see them in their for real atmosphere and what they actually wear? Because for honest, for real, I wear t-shirts and pajama pants if I'm not working or if I'm not going out somewhere. This is the truth. And I really do wear sunglasses on my head 24-7. I feel like I'm not used to my hair being straight because when it's curly, it really doesn't move. It's sort of like entwined and entangled in other curls. So when it's straight like this, it, it blows and I'm like... What is going on here? My hair is moving, so I'm not used to it. So this is my makeshift little headband that I have here, and that's how I do it in my t-shirt and my sunglasses on my head. So on to my next topic, Pretty Little Liars finale. I watched it. Ah, I'm so excited. I love it. I cannot wait. I don't know how this show is going to still go on. And who was the person that killed Ian? And is Ian dead? And did the black shadowy figure take Ian's body and, and run off with him. Seriously, what happened to Ian? Where did he go? I, I don't know, but I'm really excited. I love that show. I feel like I'm a little bit too old to watch it, but I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I love the hair. I love the makeup. I love the costumes. I love the show. I love Pretty Little Liars. Older TV shows, I am very excited for Nurse Jackie to come back. I love Edie Falco. I absolutely adore her. Whenever she is on screen, she's just absolutely captivating to me. And I love United States of Terra. I'm so glad season three is coming back. I think Toni Collette is just absolutely brilliant. The fact that she can create so many different characters. She has Terra. Buck, T, I just, I love it. I love the whole, I love the turmoil that all her other personalities cause. And I love the sister, Rosemary DeWitt. She is so beautiful. They don't make movie stars like her anymore. And I feel like she's always some sort of background character or not a main actor in a TV show. And I love her. Her profile is beautiful. I know. I don't typically like soft featured people. I I have very pointy features. I have a very big jaw. I have I have large features for such a small person, and I don't like soft featured people. Like Scarlett Johansson, I feel like is a very soft featured kind of person, and I like people with more definite features like Adrian Brody. I love Owen Wilson. I think Owen Wilson has the best nose in Hollywood. Absolutely gorgeous. And the softer featured Brad Pitts, I don't find attractive at all. So, um, so actors like Rosemary DeWitt, I think, need to be on television because that's what normal people look like. Not everyone is soft featured, candy coated actor. So, uh, definitely check out Rosemary DeWitt. Check out United States of Terra if you've never seen it because that show is fan-freaking-tastic. And I'm really excited for Entourage. Entourage, please come back. I know that the show has been canceled and it's only coming back for seven episodes, but I really am going to miss Ari Gold. I love his tirade of cursing at everyone. I just want to know Ari Gold in real life. I think he would just be fun to be friends with. And I love the character that plays his wife. Here again, angular featured actress 
Oh, I love her. I think that's all for that I'm going to vlog about today. Tell me about the TV shows that you guys are watching. If y'all watch Pretty Little Liars finale, tell me if you've seen the United States of Tara or Nurse Jackie premiere. I haven't, but you can totally give some things away to me. I really, I, I watched the show Perfect Couples too. I'm excited for Grey's Anatomy to come back. And I'm very interested to see what they're going to do for their musical episode. So be prepared for a vlog on that. And thanks for watching, guys. See you later.